It was a sunny day, and two gentlemen were on the golf course, honing their skills. These two longtime friends shared an intense passion for golf and often met to compete and have fun. One of them, Mr. John, a medium-statured man slightly overweight, made an impressive shot, achieving a hole-in-one. He watched his ball fall into the hole with a mix of surprise and joy, exclaiming that making a hole-in-one was as gratifying as winning two Nobel Prizes. The friend accompanying him couldn't help but laugh upon hearing this. What an exaggeration, John. You really don't know what it means to win a Nobel Prize, do you? However, Mr. John wasn't joking or exaggerating. He had indeed won two Nobel Prizes and believed that achieving this feat in golf was equally significant. You might think this story is almost surreal. Two friends who had played golf together for years, and one of them didn't know the other was a Nobel laureate? It may seem strange today, but in the United States at that time, it was common not to ask about others' work. This is John Bardeen, the silent king of the physics world. His life story, filled with moments of genius and humility, offers a fascinating glimpse of a man who changed the world while remaining incredibly modest. John Bardeen was born on May 23, 1908, in Madison, Wisconsin, USA. His father, Charles Bardeen, was a renowned professor of anatomy, and his mother, Althea Harmer Bardeen, was a talented interior decorator. This classic combination of an academic father and an artistic mother provided John with a rich environment of intellectual and creative stimuli. From an early age, Bardeen stood out from other children. He was exceptionally quiet, to the point of appearing overly introspective. Bardeen only spoke when absolutely necessary, often relying on his older brother to communicate with others. At nine years old, Bardeen skipped directly from the third grade to the first year of high school. Even among older students, he continued to excel, winning academic awards such as the City Math Championship. By age 14, Bardeen had already completed high school and pre-college requirements, enrolling at the University of Wisconsin at 15. Bardeen's early education was marked by his exceptional intellect and curiosity. His father, understanding his son's unique capabilities, encouraged him to explore various scientific disciplines. This encouragement allowed Bardeen to develop a broad understanding of science, laying the groundwork for his future innovations. Though he could excel in any field, Bardeen chose electrical engineering as his area of study. He wanted to tackle practical challenges with immediate applications. During his university studies, Bardeen found regular courses insufficiently challenging. So, he decided to study on his own, completing all the master's courses that interested him, such as advanced mathematics and physics, in just one year. After completing his master's, Bardeen sought practical experience. However, finding a job during the Great Depression wasn't easy. Finally, he secured a position at the Gulf Oil Company, where he began working in geophysics. It was in this unlikely position that Bardeen made his first significant contribution to science. He developed an innovative method for oil prospecting, significantly increasing the efficiency of geophysical surveys. The advance was so remarkable that Gulf Oil decided to keep the technology secret. Bardeen's innovation at Gulf Oil was a testament to his ability to apply theoretical knowledge to practical problems. His method for oil prospecting involved using geophysical techniques to locate oil deposits more accurately and efficiently. This breakthrough demonstrated his ingenuity and practical problem-solving skills, qualities that would define his career. In 1933, Bardeen decided to pursue advanced studies at Princeton University. He was drawn to Princeton by the presence of some of the world's leading physicists, including Albert Einstein. Although Einstein left Princeton shortly before Bardeen's arrival, Bardeen found mentorship under Eugene Wigner, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist. Under Wigner's guidance, Bardeen focused on solid-state physics, a field that explores the properties of solid materials. His work at Princeton laid the foundation for his future research on semiconductors and superconductivity. After completing his doctorate, Bardeen joined Bell Labs, where he met brilliant colleagues like William Shockley and Walter Bratton. Together, they embarked on a project that would change the world, the invention of the transistor. Bell Labs, located in Murray Hill, New Jersey, was a hub of innovation and technological advancement. 
The team faced numerous challenges in their quest to develop a practical transistor, a device that could amplify electrical signals and switch them on and off. Bardeen's expertise in solid-state physics proved invaluable in overcoming these obstacles. Bardeen developed the surface state theory of semiconductors, which was crucial in overcoming the obstacles the team faced. In 1947, after months of experimentation, Bardeen, Shockley, and Bratton successfully created the world's first point contact transistor. This invention not only revolutionized electronics but also laid the foundations for the information age. In 1956, John Bardeen, William Shockley, and Walter Bratton were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their invention of the transistor. This recognition was a testament to their brilliant collaboration and the transformative impact of their discovery. After leaving Bell Labs, Bardeen accepted a position at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. There, he decided to tackle one of the most challenging problems in physics, the phenomenon of superconductivity. In 1957, he, along with Leon Cooper and Robert Schrieffer, developed the BCS theory of superconductivity, which explained how electrons pair at low temperatures to form Cooper pairs, allowing conduction without resistance. Bardeen's contribution to the theory of superconductivity was recognized with a second Nobel Prize in Physics in 1972, making him the only person in history to win two Nobel Prizes in Physics. John Bardeen passed away on January 30, 1991, at the age of 82, leaving behind an immeasurable legacy. His work revolutionized modern technology, from computers and smartphones to communication systems and consumer electronics. Today, transistors are fundamental to almost all electronic devices, and the BCS theory remains a crucial foundation for superconductivity research. Bardeen's contributions to science and technology extend far beyond his two Nobel Prizes. His work paved the way for advancements in numerous fields, including telecommunications, computing, and material science. His legacy is seen in the everyday technologies we often take for granted. Despite his monumental achievements, Bardeen remained remarkably humble. He was known for his modesty and reluctance to seek the limelight. His colleagues and students admired his quiet dedication to science and his willingness to collaborate and share credit for discoveries. Bardeen's humility was evident in his interactions with others. He often downplayed his accomplishments, preferring to focus on the work rather than the recognition. This trait endeared him to many and set an example for future generations of scientists. Bardeen's impact extended beyond his research. As a professor at the University of Illinois, he was a dedicated educator and mentor. He inspired countless students to pursue careers in science and engineering, sharing his knowledge and passion for discovery. Bardeen's approach to teaching was characterized by his emphasis on critical thinking and problem solving. He encouraged his students to question assumptions and explore new ideas, fostering an environment of innovation and intellectual curiosity. Over the course of his career, Bardeen received numerous awards and honors, including the National Medal of Science, the Franklin Medal, and the IEEE Medal of Honor. These accolades reflect the profound impact of his work on science and technology. Bardeen's contributions were also recognized internationally. He was elected to prestigious scientific societies and received honorary degrees from universities around the world. These honors underscored his status as one of the greatest scientists of the 20th century. Bardeen's work continues to influence modern science and technology. His discoveries in semiconductors and superconductivity have paved the way for advancements in various fields, including electronics, computing, and medical technology. The transistor, which Bardeen co-invented, remains a cornerstone of modern electronics. It is a fundamental component of integrated circuits, which are used in everything from smartphones to supercomputers. The BCS theory of superconductivity continues to guide research in material science and quantum computing. Outside of his professional life, Bardeen was a devoted family man and enjoyed spending time with his wife, Jane, and their three children. He had a passion for golf and often played with friends and colleagues, finding relaxation and joy in the sport. Bardeen's personal interests also included music and gardening. He appreciated the arts and found solace in nature, balancing his intense scientific work with these hobbies. Reflecting on Bardeen's life and legacy, 
it's clear that he was not only a brilliant scientist but also a kind and generous individual. His colleagues remember him as a mentor and friend, someone who was always willing to lend a helping hand and share his wisdom. Bardeen's legacy is not only in his scientific achievements but also in the inspiration he provided to countless individuals. His dedication to advancing knowledge and improving the world serves as a guiding light for future generations of scientists and engineers. John Bardeen's life is an inspiration to all of us. He demonstrated that true greatness is not just about remarkable achievements but also about character and humility. His example teaches us that, regardless of our accomplishments, we should remain humble and dedicated to advancing knowledge and the well-being of humanity. John Bardeen is undoubtedly one of the giants of science, not only for his technical contributions but also for his integrity, humility, and unwavering dedication to truth and progress. His legacy continues to inspire and guide scientists and engineers around the world. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the content interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on these and other fascinating topics. To the next!